Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about the number one tool that we all have in our back pocket that can help relieve stress, anxiety, and any other emotions that may be coming up. Of course, I'm talking about the most precious thing that we have and that is our breath. So first of all, breath is actually otherwise known as pranayama and pranayama is known as life force energy which really reiterates the fact that our breath is the thing that is keeping us alive and it has the power to control a lot of things. So I'm going to be talking about multiple different breaths. The first breath that I'm going to be talking about is definitely just the easiest one to begin with. It can be used for... Um, energizing and relaxing depending on how you use it and how you use it brings us back to the point that breath is really our life force energy a lot of times when I see people stressed out I notice the first thing we do is just which is great but a lot of the time what I see is that people focus more on the deep inhalation and not as much on the exhalation but that may actually be doing more harm than good. And that's because of the fact that breath is our energy. Breathing in and every inhale we take gives us energy and it's the exhale that actually calms us down and relaxes us. Think about it, our breath is what brings in the oxygen to give to our blood cells, to give to our muscles. So it is what is going to be energizing us. And if we want to calm our bodies, and relax our bodies, we have to focus more on the exhale. So the first breath I will be talking about is known as the counted breath. You can do this in three different ways. The first way is an inhale and an exhale, counting both evenly. This breath is balancing. Sometimes it is good in moments where you just need to have a little reset with your breath. You're maybe feeling a little anxious. It's good to just take a deep breath in and out and just reset and balance everything out. So when people first start out, this will all depend on where you are with your breath. Just do an inhale count of maybe three and then exhale of that same number. As you get better, you'll be able to go higher and higher in that number and possibly even hold your breath at the top but we'll start down low. So first let's do a count of three and a count of three going down. Ready, inhale for one, two, and exhale. And that's it. That is the even count and breath that will bring balance to your body. Now the second way we can interpret this counted breath is by making the inhale count longer than the exhale count. As I mentioned before, inhaling is what brings energy into the body, so this is a great way to awaken the body by making the inhales longer. This is good to do first thing in the morning, at the end of a yoga class, a lot of times the teachers may prompt your inhale to be longer to reawaken your body at the end, and just any time you need that extra boost. So let's say we're doing the um, three number as we did before. So you could start as easy as a count of three up and a count of two down or maybe a count of four up and a count of three down. It really depends. Personally, I like to do um, at least half the count for my exhale to really make it work out. So I'll do a count of four and then a count of inhaling and then a count of two to exhale. Ready, inhale. Exhale. And that's it. Obviously, as you go, you can play with the counting numbers and see what works for you. Um, but that is how you energize your body. Now, the last method is what will bring more relaxation and restorative energy to your body. And that is making the exhales longer than the inhales. So, pretty much similar to the last one, but this time I'm going to reverse it. I'll do maybe a count of three inhale and a count of six exhale. Ready and inhale. And exhale. And that's it. Obviously with this one, 
It does take practice and you'll find that when you're making the exhale longer than the inhale, at the end you'll actually kind of contract your abdomen because you're just contracting out all of the air inside you. But you will really notice a difference. Um, that is a really easy, easy trick if you ever just are in a pickle and you want to just relax your body. It's a nice way to calm yourself down at the end of the night, maybe before bed. But try these tricks out and see what works for you.